Uh, my name is Brian. Uh, oh, sorry. Do you want first name and last name? First name and last name. Uh, uh, Brian Gagnon, uh, originally from Worcester, now residing in West Boylston. Um, honestly, it was the vibe of this place. Um, my wife and I started coming here in 2014, August of 2014, and within a few short weeks, I knew right away that there was something different about this place um, compared to anywhere else that um, we've ever gone. The vibe, the energy, the interaction with the trainers. I mean, it was about two months of our time here and I sat Frank down and I just looked at him and I said, I don't care how, when, or in what capacity I want in, because it's just him and everybody else that was here, just like, it draws you in and the place is infectious. Um, so it was really the environment and the coaches that really kind of drove me to want to get into this. I love to put my, my entire body through a workout. I love to, you know, when the, when the session's over, to kind of feel it everywhere. Some of my personal favorites uh, would be the dumbbell bench press. I just love that, you know, being able to utilize both arms. Bent over rows are another personal favorite of mine because uh, maintaining that strictness to it and not kind of twisting your shoulder. I like the pump I get out of those, and um, I'm actually really loving uh, pull-ups <laughs> more, more now than I ever have, so. My go-to snack would, would definitely be a dot fit shake. I've come to really enjoy the, the super blend, so I'll put a, a scoop of that in it as well to make sure I get my, my greens in and, and my vitamins. And then any one of the dot fit bars. My personal favorite right now would probably have to be the trail mix. It's, it's hard to try to look at one individual person because all the different people that have come through these doors over the years, when I think of success stories, I think about the people that I see that are improving. Their first day in and they're four feet away from the wall with an inverted row. And then within a few months, they're itching closer and closer and closer to that wall to almost having their feet to the wall or even their, their head to the wall. Graduating to pull-ups, being able to, to do a bent over row without doing what I call the lawnmower. Like a lot of people can lift the weight, but they rip their shoulder over. And I said, no, try not to do that. Or stay standing nice and tall when they're doing curls and they're not doing that body rocking. So those are the things that I look for and that I, I rate success on a client when I when I can see them kind of graduate to those things. A little less stable not being on the floor. You can't balance it out, feel free to drop that. Uh, if you're just starting out, find the right fit for you. I mean, it was clear to me when I walked through these doors 10 years ago that this was where I, I wanted to be, where I needed to be. But find the environment that works for you. Have a support system because, you know, anytime you're going to start a journey like this, if you're going to go it alone, you tend to kind of stray off. If you have a support system and people that are behind you, that's always important. Cross that threshold. I mean, especially if you join us here, there are sometimes people who walk through that door and they'll be like, you know, I really don't want to be here today. Those are the days that you should come to the gym. The days that you're thinking, oh, I'm just not feeling it today. For myself, I know that some of those, are the, some of those days are when I feel I get my best workout. Don't give up on yourself. It's never too late. Keep coming in and you know, let us take care of you.